Before we get to the actual update on the Koga Dam level, I want to give you a quick look into the past to when construction on the Koga Dam started in 1957. This structure is part of the building of the dam. I'll see if I can find from the old photographs been sending concrete up. The Gamtos Valley is now finally finding relief from a drought that lasted for eight years since 2015. And the Koga Dam was built to help mitigate the impact of droughts and floods in the valley. Even during construction of the dam, it had to weather some floods. The center portion of the dam was initially left open to allow floods to pass through during the construction period. More floods hit as the dam was nearing completion. All of us are hoping that we see this site again soon. This brings us to today. The picture above shows the horseshoe just past the Ruyuk, just above Ruyuk. At the bottom, the Bavians River joins the Koga River. The rate of flow above the dam had peaked around 230 cubic meters per second on 26 September and has since dropped to 150 cubic meters per second. The good news, however, is that the dam level has already climbed to 79% by 3 o'clock yesterday, 27 September. And the dam is expected to reach 100% capacity and start overflowing by Friday sometime. That is all I have for now. I will keep you updated on the levels. I will also share more about the dam in its history and construction in future videos. See you on the next one. Cheers.